Welcome to the ORAP's earnings report where we scan for companies with upcoming earnings announcements, check out historical earnings information, and find a potential options trade. Let's start by running a scan on stocks reporting earnings this week, which includes the total option volume indicator, sorted from greatest to least. Focusing on PepsiCo, as we click through, we see this large cap company in the beverages non-alcoholic industry reports earnings on Tuesday, October 11, after the close. The Earnings and Financials tab takes us to more detail showing the options market expecting a move of 2.8% in either direction. This move was breached in zero out of the last 12 earnings. During that time, the post-earnings move was outside of the implied range one times. In those cases, long straddles were profitable. The rest of the earnings moves likely yielded profitable short straddles. We can overlay quarterly financial data by clicking on the ratios below the earn move graph. Let's look at the P.E. ratio, which is the stock price divided by the trailing 12 months earnings per share. For P.E.P., the current P.E. ratio is 25.0, which is 1.5% over the average for the last 12 earnings observations. Returning to the Overview tab, we can quickly run a scan to find the best option trades. Since earnings are right around the corner, we scan for neutral strategies, then filter the scan results by S% or Smooth Edge by setting it between negative and positive 3%. This helps narrow the results to trades that are fairly priced. The highest ranked trade is a long put calendar with strikes at 160 expiring on Friday, November 25th and Friday, November 11th, for a debit of 63 cents. By pulling up the trade, we can see the theoretical values in more detail. The distribution edge, found by the expected value of the payoff picture on the stock's historical distribution, has an edge of 50.7%. The forecast edge, which is derived from historical volatility, has an edge of 14.7%. Lastly, the smoothed edge, which is calculated by drawing a best fit curve through the monthly implied volatilities, has an edge of 1.3%. The edge is relative to the mid-market price of the trade. Greater positive edges are a theoretical benefit to the trader. We can also look at the payoff graph. The reward to risk divides the max gain by the max loss. Here the 4.2 to 1 is the ratio of the max gain of $264 to the max loss of minus $63. There are two break-evens for this long put calendar at 152.78 and 168. The total Greeks and Think or Swim code complete the information on the trade analysis pop-out. Next, let's look at this trade in the trade builder. Over the last month, the stock price fell 6.8%, while the 30-day implied volatility rose 41.5%. The average slope of the trend lines is negative. The heat map on the right side of the graph is green where volatility and slope are undervalued, and red where they are overvalued. In this case, short-term IV and slope are overvalued, while the long-term is slightly overvalued. We can also see this trade overlaid on the monthly implied volatility graph in the chain tab. The legs for this trade are circled. For any questions or issues related to this earnings report, please contact auto at orats.com. To subscribe to the dashboard, go to orats.com and click on the dashboard product page. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel and look out for more videos.